seen in some magnetic materials, saturation is the state reached when an increase in applied external magnetic field H cannot increase the magnetization of the material further, so the total magnetic flux density be more or less levels off. Saturation is a characteristic of ferromagnetic and ferromagnetic materials, such as iron, nickel, cobalt and their alloys. Description Saturation is most clearly seen in the magnetization curve of a substance, as a bending to the right of the curve. As the H field increases, the B field approaches a maximum value asymptotically, the saturation level for the substance. Technically, above saturation, the B field continues increasing, but at the paramagnetic rate, which is three orders of magnitude smaller than the ferromagnetic rate seen below saturation. The relation between the magnetizing field H and the magnetic field V can also be expressed as the magnetic permeability, or the relative permeability, where is the vacuum permeability. The permeability of ferromagnetic materials is not constant, but depends on H. In saturable materials the relative permeability increases with H to a maximum, then as it approaches saturation inverts and decreases toward one. Different materials have different saturation levels. For example, high permeability iron alloys used in transformers reach magnetic saturation at 1.6-2.2 tesselas, whereas ferrite saturate at 0.2-0.5 T. Some amorphous alloys saturate at 1.2-1.3 T mu metal saturates at around 0.8 T. Explanation Ferromagnetic materials are composed of microscopic regions called magnetic domains, that act like tiny permanent magnets that can change their direction of magnetization. Before an external magnetic field is applied to the material, the domain's magnetic fields are oriented randomly, effectively cancelling each other out, and so its magnetic field is negligibly small. When an external magnetizing field H is applied to the material, it penetrates the material and aligns the domains, causing their tiny magnetic fields to turn and align parallel to the external field, adding together to create a large magnetic field B which extends out from the material. This is called magnetization. The stronger the external magnetic field H, the more the domains align yielding a higher magnetic flux density B saturation occurs when practically all the domains are lined up so further increases in H can't increase B beyond the increment that would be caused in a non-magnetic material, or in other words cannot cause further alignment of the domains. Effects and uses, saturation puts a practical limit on the maximum magnetic fields achievable in ferromagnetic core electromagnets and transformers of around 2T, which puts a limit on the minimum size of their cores. This is one reason why high power motors, generators, and utility transformers are physically large. Because they must have large magnetic cores. In electronic circuits, transformers and inductors with ferromagnetic cores operate nonlinearly when the current through them is large enough to drive their core materials into saturation. This means that their inductance and other properties vary with changes in drive current. In linear circuits this is usually considered an unwanted departure from ideal behavior. When AC signals are applied, this nonlinearity can cause the generation of harmonics and intermodulation distortion. To prevent this, the level of signals applied to iron core inductors must be limited so they don't saturate. To lower its effects, an air gap is created in some kinds of transformer cores. The saturation current, the current through the winding required to saturate the magnetic core, is given by manufacturers in the specifications for many inductors and transformers. On the other hand, saturation is exploited in some electronic devices. Saturation is employed to limit current in saturable core transformers, used in arc welding, and ferrosinant transformers which serve as voltage regulators. When the primary current exceeds a certain value, the core is pushed into its saturation region, limiting further increases in secondary current. In a more sophisticated application, saturable core inductors and magnetic amplifiers use a DC current through a separate winding to control an inductor's impedance. Varying the current in the control winding moves the operating point up and down in the saturation curve, controlling the AC current through the inductor. 
These are used in variable fluorescent light ballasts, and power control systems. The magnetic saturation is also exploited in the flux gate magnetometers and the flux gate compasses. See also, magnetic reluctance, Pemenda Hipko. References